I got a vid for y'all today. It's gonna take us to the moons and beyond. So get ready. Let's get mixed. What's up, y'all? Y'all already see what it is. I got that Constellation Edition for Starfield, the PC version, you know, the Steam joint. So let's get into it. Let's unbox it. <clears throat> okay, so y'all can see, you know, just to show y'all the, the artwork on the box. So I'll go ahead and get that out the way. <laughs> show y'all this. So yeah. All right. It had a cover on it with the, the, and it had like pictures of the contents, but during the delivery process, I don't know from the seller or um, FedEx that kind of got ripped, but you know, you don't really need to see that. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen a bunch of videos by now of this collection edition. So, so yeah get this joint open all right so ah. well that's pretty cool steel case get obviously this is the back this is the front the starfield premium edition and uh on the back it says the wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast but that man has measured it anatoly france the Garden of Epicurus. And uh, at the bottom it says Bethesda. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Got my, uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's got the display of the, uh, the controller, uh, the controller, your Xbox controller. And then it's got my game code. Of course, I'm not going to show y'all that. Even if I did, I would have had it downloaded by the time I uploaded this video, so it's all good. Oh yeah, cool. Oh wow, this actually got some weight to it. This is a little... Is it on both sides? Yeah, let me <laughs> cover as best I can. Get this nice little metal device with the steam pc code on it but yeah yeah nice it's gold and green of course i'm not gonna show y'all that <laughs> again even though i'm going to uh download this before uh yeah upload the vid and whatnot so so yeah well i ain't gonna entertain it so i ain't gonna show it but yeah that's the steel case got your uh code in here your digital code if you're going digital and of course uh, the moment we've all been waiting for the piece we've all been wanting to see slide that over there now this is the watch case I was about to say now come on now don't do me like that don't do me like that aka Kevin Hart <laughs> come on now pop off Sorry for the rest of y'all that had to wait till September the 6th to play it. Don't feel too bad. I had to wait like a total, well, the next day, a day and a half to play mine because mine got shipped the day before, you know, early playability, but I still had to wait for FedEx to drop it off. So, which is today, what, the second is Saturday. So, yeah. So, this is what the case looks like. I got the Constellation logo. On the sides got the cool and this got some weight to it actually to be honest well crafted i mean of course you could break it but i mean it's not gonna break you know just dropping it like you know real hard and stuff like that it ain't no flimsy stuff but you know it's good plastic and some metals and threadings for these straps so you pull rotate and then you unlatch so yeah see right there well yeah Got instructions. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 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 oh. This is sexy. Yeah, you got your watch strap, your actual smart watch, and you got the patch. I'll show y'all what that looks like. The contents on us. Man, that's, 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 that is clean. That's dope. So, yeah. 
So yeah, got your strap here. And of course, oh, there's some stuff under the, the patch. You got the Constellation logo on the patch in patch form. And this is obviously predominant in the game. And oh wow, so it's a oh okay, it's another strap. It's like a different material. It's like a threaded strap, and then it's got the the cool rubber strap on it. So that's cool. You can switch them out. That's cool. I'm assuming that's you know what that is. I probably gotta charge it up first, but yeah. You know, end of video, y'all see it. I'll show you it functioning and all that good stuff. So, y'all will see that in this vid. So, don't fret. That's kind of snug. There we go. Okay. What is this? Oh, yeah. This is a... What is this? Oh, that's cool. You got the little, you know, little little code to scan on your phone and it gives you instructions chrono mac established 2188 life pack interlink lpv 6.0 that's cool don't tell me this is a chart the charge dock i don't know what that is but i find out it's got little prongs right here let me see is that is that in fact what that's for yeah, that's exactly what that's for. Because I'll either show you later. But, well, I don't know if y'all can see that. Now nah, you getting out of this angle. Let me take that out. Yeah, it's got the little two little plates for those prongs on, on here. So, all right, that's cool. Yeah, I'll be rocking this. <laughs> I'll be definitely rocking this out in a while. <laughs> if you will. All right, get back in there now. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. So there, yeah, that strap. Here goes your other little watch, little pins to get that in there. I probably will end up using this strap instead because these rubber straps always, you know, used to make my wrist uh, sweaty when I used to wear watches back when I was younger. Okay. Yeah. Here's the charge cable. That's what's up. And what? Were you? Uh, I'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, let me get this thing charged up and uh, I'll be right back in the vid and have this thing functioning for you. And while I let this charge up, I'll be uh, having my game down, you know, downloading and whatnot. So uh, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay. I wanted to show y'all the, uh, the watch charging before uh, I show you what it looks like, you know, on my wrist and whatnot, and show you the other like screens it has on it and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is the Starfield watch on the dock. I got my uh, PC charging it, but uh, it's pretty cool that you know when it shows you charging, it's got the battery, you know, with the lightning bolt on, saying it's charging, and then that white bar showing you how much you know more time it has before. You know, it's charged. That's pretty cool. See, on the left, it's got the 0%. And then on the right, it's got 100%. So, it's like a little bit more than halfway. I thought that was pretty cool when I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. That's, I didn't know what that was at first. I was just looking at the battery. I didn't even look at that bar at the bottom. But, yeah. Just had to show y'all that. All right, y'all. So, here's the watch. <clears throat> got fully charged. I'm ready to show y'all the little features. All right, so these buttons are to control, like, well, pick your option, like, scroll your options, like, up here is to go up, up here, go down. So, no matter, if you if you pass anything, you'll be straight. All right, so, and this button over here is to select, and this is your back button. So, yeah, so you can shake it to wake it up, like, or, like, if you have it on your wrist, you know, uh, it'll wake up your watch. You don't have to, like, hit a button. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's hit up. So, you got your settings. Now, this you could pick from the app. But, obviously, I can't show you because I'm filming with my phone. So, that you know, I, the app is on the phone. But, you got your settings. 
And of course, you know, settings it, control, you know, set your, configure your watch, basically. All right, then you got your torch, basically your flashlight. I'll show y'all that. So that's your flashlight. <laughs> I want to show y'all with it like dark, but just, just trust me, it's, it's bright. All right. Then you got, I'll go back to see, I'll go back to see this and show you that. Then you got your sensor. So your pressure, your accelerate, your mag, your, your temp. Huh. Yeah, that's the back out. Okay. Yeah, go back. Then you get the, yeah, you get to scroll through each other. So your temperature, 28 Celsius. And it, like I said, this is pretty dope. This is why, I mean, like I said, that. The Constellation edition to me is worth it could just alone for this watch, you know, besides the game. Then you got your magnometer, your accelerometer, and you got your barometer, you know, like the air pressure and whatnot. I'm assuming that's what type of pressure they're talking about. Okay, and let's go back. So that's it for your sensor. Uh, your music. Well, I would do it. It controls your your music from your phone like real good, but you know I don't want to get copyright strike, so I'm not gonna play that. But you select it, you hit it, and whatever music or you know song you were playing last on your phone, it'll resume that. So yeah, you you select it, then you hit your you know that button up there. And then your weather, the weather app as of launch, Bethesda on their website says it's not working right now, even though it just had a a firm. Where update, <clears throat> so I'm guessing it'll be some more, and then it'll finally work. All right, let's see what else. Oh yeah, your moon phase. So yeah, that's the actual moon on planet Earth. So yeah, that's pretty dope. All right, yeah. See, let me see. Hit down, you'll go back. So now, your notifications. See. That's like one of my homeboys right there that popped up on uh, my PlayStation app. And then, it, like, notifications too. Like, if you get text messages or anything or your alarm clock go off on your phone, it, it'll pop up, like, on this, this screen over here. See, like, right here, my other homeboy just j jumped on the PlayStation app. So, like I said, man, it's junk. It's junk, you know, pretty dope. All right. Hold on, what's that? So, yeah, that's all you have right here. So now I can show you the settings. And again, you could do this on the app on your phone. So you got your power off, you got your flight mode, set your time. But right out of the box, once you like, after you charge it, it'll like automatically have the correct time wherever, you, wherever you're living. At least in my experience, it was like this date, set time, and everything was accurate. So you got your screen options, you know, your brightness. One is the highest. All you can do is turn it down from here, and then you know go back up to one. Then your timeout to make it make basically make your watch go to sleep. Yeah, wake up. You can tap the screen or you can raise your wrist. So yeah, let's go back. Then you got your about. Let's hit that. Yep. Starfield Chrono Mark watch made for for Bethesda by the Wand Company Limited. Your model, firmware, copyright, you know, Bethesda software and all rights reserved. Let's hit back. And you, you reset. I'm not even going to hit that. So, yeah, let's hit back. So, yeah, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. That's all the options. Like I said, I think it's worth it. This watch is pretty dope. So, that's why I think it's worth it. And then yeah, up here, you have your notifications. There you got your, your clock. I mean, of course, you got the time right here, but... And you got your 9, your 3, your 6, your 12, like on a regular watch. You got your hands moving. And then, uh, yeah, the blue is, ob well, no, it's not. It's not so because it's like 8 o'clock. So I don't know. I, I really don't know what the blue is for. But that's your second hand, obviously. Dang, never wake up. So, yeah, see, Saturday, your time. And you can do the 12 hour or the 24. I got the 12 hour for the time. And you see your AM, you got your PM. And you still this bar right here. This is for your steps. I got it tracking my steps so to eight thousand steps. So yeah. Then uh, you could change the date format like the year, month, and day. They had like month and day and stuff like that. And 
And I forgot the other options. But there's multiple, like, date formats. So, yeah, y'all, I mean, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, I'm loving it. So, in the comments, if y'all would, comment on my vid. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all got it or you're just going to pass. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike if you disliked it. Uh, share my vid. Hit the notification bell for me, for, you know, for my channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, again, yeah, just share, you know, share my vid, man. Get me out. Help me get me out there. But, all right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next uh, unboxing. Trust me, the next few unboxings as far as games wise go i think y'all enjoy that too as well as this one so uh all right y'all peace out